So he really knows what it is to live. When he finally came to the point where he had to get a new liver, um, he just came out and told everybody and said, I'm going in. And he was very positive, And I think he took that with him all the way through the ordeal. People don't always understand that a liver transplant is a really big deal. And this is a message, very strong message that he is taking to many sick patients that they uh, see just bad thing in front of them and show them how life can change and improve with organ transplant. When I made it through that surgery, I, I felt whole for the first time again. I felt like a new engine got dropped in me and there was no holding me back. It was a time of, of victory for him. It was a time of victory for the people around him. And I think it was a time of, of great victory for the whole transplant community. It's just amazing how people can, can be so unselfish. And you know, in their time of, of grief, they're able to save someone else's life. Do liver transplants, heart transplant, organ transplants, and give somebody their life back. It's just amazing. You know, having won a bronze medal just a year and a half after my transplant really I think is a tribute to you know, how far the transplant community has come and the fact that uh, transplantation is now mainstream medicine. The little thing on your driver's license and when they say, oh, are you organ donor, like they just don't even know like how important it is. Once you've gone through a life or death situation, uh, you never really lose. He's uh, definitely an inspiration. I think he's just happy to be alive. I think that this story tells us that transplants work. But at the same time, it also reminds us that there just aren't enough donors out there. This is a, a young man who is the most determined spirit I've ever met.